want to put the suit through the ringer over the next three days. We want to test it to its absolute limits. One of our concerns is the acid that might be released by the snake during yeah. the digestive process. We're going to run an experiment looking at all the different layers of the suit using hydrochloric acid. So this is highly concentrated, has a pH of one. One sounds low, right? Yeah. But the lower the number, the higher the acidity in terms of pH. And how does this compare to like anaconda acid? Anaconda acid has been reported between one and 1 1.8. So we're going beyond what I'm gonna see in the inside of an anaconda. Right. So this is our outer layer. This is the neoprene yeah. layer. This is our armor layer. It's what's gonna protect Protecting you layer. when the snake constricts. Yeah. And then this is the tie chem layer. Yeah, and that looks like a piece of tissue paper. And it has the ability to block over 170 different chemicals up to eight hours. Okay. We're gonna drip a little bit of the hydrochloric acid on each of these materials, and we're gonna check back in six to eight hours oh. just to see how much degradation occurs with each type of material. I'm gonna put about five drops of this on the armor. Look at that, it's just kind of bubbled up on right now. Mm -hmm. Here's the neoprene. The neoprene absorbs it right away. Yeah. It's definitely more of a porous yeah. material. Yeah. And then the tie chem layer. See how it's just bubbling up? Mm -hmm. I don't Anything think there's happen? any damage at all. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on these and see what happens over the next six to eight hours. Okay. Eight hours later, the tie chem material and armor suffered no degradation. And while the neoprene came out discolored, it stood up just fine to the hydrochloric acid. Uh, this is my arm. Yep, this is from the scan that we took of your body. That's cool. And we made a mold of your arm. And this must be anaconda jaws. We've actually taken a regular small animal trap. Yeah. But we've modified it and we actually made, can you see there? Recurved teeth. Those were welded on, specially designed, just like an anaconda. They're needle sharp. This is brutal. So we did a good job? I think so. Okay, good. We're gonna use our chain mail, uh -huh. put it on the arm, and we're gonna actually test to see if these teeth will penetrate through the chain mail. So the trap is set. Gently ease the arm way. into the trap. In spite of how powerful the trap's jaws were, the arm cast came out of the chain mail without a scratch on it. 